Good morning, Iceland. Wow. After we went to sleep, a lot of people rolled in. We all were all by ourselves out there, and the neighborhood got crowded. It is five o'clock here. Sun's been up for uh, almost hour and a half, two hours. All's well here. Pretty stoked. Three years ago to the day, I was waiting here. Three years from that day, I'm waiting here. So, this is a really special treat. Kalingerfall is an amazing place. It was an ancient caldera that blew up in a spectacular fashion many millions of years ago. It has rebuilt itself from the ashes and it is geologically very active, geothermally very active. Probably one of the more active places on the planet. And it is drop dead gorgeous. So we're gonna make the, oh, let's see what it says here. I have no idea what it's, it says. <laughs> I have no idea, but we're on our way. I think it's about three and a half miles to where we're going. We'll spend the afternoon looking at all the geologic features and so forth. And then we'll come back and rest. It is, oh, I don't know, six o'clock, 6.30 in the morning. Sun's been up for, well, four hours. So, it's time to go. Time to go. And then came along Susan. Feels good. And, oh, put that rock on that cairn. Good idea. Susan says, I have passed this way. We may never pass this way again. So we've made our mark. Look at our shadows. Hiking is happiness. Hiking in Iceland at Kalingerfall. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Iceland adventure. Hiking is happiness. I must tell you, this is a spectacular hike. Susan and I are the luckiest of people because we have a day like today. This is rare. This is very rare. They have signs at the bottom about the weather. It can change from being a beautiful day to snow. It can change from a beautiful day to downpour. We are so lucky there's a high pressure system over Iceland right now. And we have a day like today, which is just spectacular. So, a hike worth 
thinking about a hike worth putting on your bucket list for something that is definitely out of the ordinary. It's quite an adventure to get here in and of itself. But once here, it's just spectacular. The feel of Iceland is something special. I told Susan this before we came, and she yesterday said to me, you were right. Iceland has a really amazing feel. When you close your eyes, just how you feel. And of course, they're joining the, <laughs> they're joining the world in having roadside, <laughs> road, road signs in the middle of nowhere, so this is so cool. But uh, definitely worth coming to see. Put Iceland on your bucket list if you like adventure, if you enjoy being out in nature. This is it. This is it. It's Iceland. It is Iceland. It is so amazing. It's hard to express. It is quiet. There's just a light breeze. It's essentially fairly warm. And the gnats are out. <laughs> Which makes it extra beautiful. So, we are just eating this up with a spoon. It's so amazing to be here. Very special place. We are so proud if you are watching this, following us. Thank you so much. Because uh, we really would love to share this with you. Okay, so here we go down and then up. And then we cross that saddle and we are just about there. So it's hard to believe from where we stand at this moment, the dramatic change that is on the other side of this hill. And it's dramatic. Nature has a little surprise over there for us. So I'll take you for the first little bit, but then I have to have my poles. And Iceland, they have trails, but <laughs> there are people that don't mind steep trails. Because their trails can be very steep. And look at this, somebody came down with a bike. That person is a bike rider. Because this is a loose pack trail. I would say good luck to you, Mr. Bike Rider. So we just take it easy. I'm gonna put the camera away and get my poles out because it's very loose gravel and uh, no spills. Now, right now, that's one of the things that's interesting about video is you really can't tell how steep something is. You know, we're taking a three-dimensional thing and changing it to a two-dimensional framework so you just don't get it but this is steep susan is i don't know 40 feet ahead of me and probably 20 feet above and those figures would be conservative so yeah this is a steep trail <laughs> steep hill to come down And I see mountain bike tracks. I don't know if they're walking or if they're riding, but regardless, those, those are some pretty hardy people.
pretty hardy people. Now the fun thing is, of course, is we get to head right back up the other side. <laughs> Good times. Very good times. Look at her go. She's so excited. Pretty amazing stuff. I always have the sense of what is over the next rise. What will I see? That's the thing that keeps one foot going in front of the other. What adventure awaits? Move forward and find out. We could have driven. You can almost smell that glacier. Fresh air. It is so quiet. Susan and I, just because I guess we are who we are, get an early start on things. Yesterday at the Great Geyser, there were six people, <laughs> including Susan and I. We drove by about 1.30 in the afternoon. There had to be 500. Everywhere we go, we are, you know, within the, if not the first, but in, a, in the group of the first. Like today, there'll be lots of people that climb this trail. But we're up and at it. We're excited. So we're doing it. And the, the thing about that, that, and I suppose it's up to the individual, but we relish that, that we're here together exploring and there's not a big crowd of people we like that we'll get up and we'll do it Be just for that reason alone we hope everybody has a great hike a great trip a great day but we're going to take measures so that we can enjoy ourselves and do it without crowds of people and really enjoy this place just the way it is, the way it presents itself. Kind of a rough section of trail here. Little water coming out, running down, going down into this snow cave. You see my line? Yeah. You can get to that line, I was there. The road to Kalingerfall. That uh, is not snow, that's ice. It's just, you know, it's ice. It's very, very hard. So this is a very interesting little section. Look at all these rocks worn by weather, by water. I don't know. Needless to say, all of Iceland was glaciated 
during the last ice age. So things have changed quite a bit, quite a bit. At different times, there may have been water running through here because this was a glacier a mile high. I don't know, but it definitely has evidence of water with the rounded rocks. This is uh, this is pretty spectacular. I have to tell you, my heart is singing. I feel like I'm living. I love it. I love it so. Hiking is happiness, and this is where our heart is. Kalingarpa. In Icelandic, it means haggard woman. Wait till you see what's on the other side of that ridge. Susan and I are here, just relishing the moment. There's not a soul here but us. Pretty awesome stuff. 